Hi everyone, welcome. Today in this video we are going to see another aspect of event management tool and that thing is nothing but alert management rules. Same like event rules, we have alert management rules where we define the actions which should be taken on the alert. Meaning, do we need to do an auto remediation? Do we need to trigger orchestration? Do we need to create a knowledge article out of it or map the event and alert to the knowledge article? Or do we need to create a task based record out of it? So I'm going to explain you the components of this particular aspect in detail and in my consecutive videos I will show you some use cases like how to create an incident, how to trigger a power sales script with flow designers. So let's get started without wasting time. You can see uh, how to create alert management tool is you need to go to rules, click on alert management rules. I have created few rules. I'm just going to sort it with two. Uh, these are some out of the box rules like uh, I, I will explain you where they are used basically but I have created these two rules uh, to show you in this demo. Uh, let's get started with the general information about these three components that is alert information, alert filter and alert action. So alert information is basic information about this rule where you define the order in which order these rules should be, be uh, process and do we need to process uh, any other rule if the condition is matched uh, or, or do we need to process any other rules after processing this rule is defined by this particular field. Uh, we have two options here stop search for additional rules and search for additional rules. So after processing this rule what should happen is decided by this field. Moving back to moving to alert filter we have something called as rule is activated when field where you decide when this rule should be applied, meaning it should apply when the condition is met in the first place or it should apply every time when the condition is met. So alert changes to filter is whenever the condition uh, is met after changing of that particular alert. For example, let's say I have a, a category as threshold and if I change the category as uh, default and if my, my condition is category as default then this rule will be applied and then after that if I update the work notes and save then this rule won't be applied. So it's like uh, only on change of that particular alert you should apply this filter and the below one which says alert matches filter is every time when the filter is matched you should uh, trigger this rule even if you are updating some other fields and if this particular filter is matched it will trigger this particular alert rule. I'm not going to explain you uh, the condition builder. It's pretty simple. Let's move to actions section. Here we have three subsections where you trigger the flow designer flow, the workflow and the launch application. They have their own significance. I will start with the first one that is remediation subflows. This is a subflow which I have created or, or I'm using uh, the out of the box flow which I have cloned and I have added some conditions to it and I have added it here. Mm -hmm. Now execution. What about execution? Execution has three uh, options that is automatic, manual and both. Automatic means as soon as the alert is created and if the condition is mapped uh, or if the alert is updated and if the condition is matched then this rule will automatically trigger. Manual means it will show you in the quick responses and you need to click on that particular quick response then only this rule will be applied. I will show you that. Both means it can also be uh, triggered by an operator and it can also be triggered automatically as soon as the condition is met. Moving forward, we will talk about this field automatic execution limits. So it decides how many times this rule should be applied to a particular alert. Two times, five times, six times throughout the life cycle of an alert. If the alert is reopened, this counter goes back to zero. Okay. Uh, as soon as you save this, uh, this link will be automatically populated. So you don't have to worry about it. For any alert management rule, there should be at least one action to be true. So this is true and you can have uh, two more actions here or you can have consecutive flows here. Workflows are same like subflows, only the thing is you, you use workflows instead of flow designer. Execution has again three options. Execution limit again the same which I explained at the top. Now 
coming back to launch application section this is interesting section where you can navigate throughout the service now system as well as outside of service now system so for example i have a case where i get an event from splunk i get an event from dynatrix these are external sources so if i want to see the additional information about that particular event in these tools i will create a launch application and i will just give a button in the quick responses to my operators so once they click they will be automatically redirected to that tool and they can see the event uh, yeah if you have say so you even don't have to log in it will be automatically uh, you you will get automatically log in into your system and you will see that particular event so all these three things are visible under quick responses now what exactly you mean by quick responses i will show you that for example let's say i will open one uh, alert which i have already created here you see quick responses so alert management rules and quick responses are tied to each other if i open this you can see now dependency view and search google this are the two launch application views which was the last section in the alert management rules and the run remediation uh, i can hide this also based upon the conditions you will see options here as well as options here okay right now i don't have that open record option here because there is no task record associated with this particular uh, alert but let's say if i associate any task with it and if i save this just to show you what will happen is and if i click on quick response you will start seeing this open record uh, uh, launch application alert management tool okay and as soon as i click this it will take you to that particular incident so this is how you configure the launch application section okay uh, this was an high level overview of alert management rules uh, thanks for watching this uh, I, I am going to create another video or I have created another video for uh, the use cases where I am going to show you how to create an incident and how to trigger a partial script. So you can see that in the description below uh, of this particular video and please have a look at it. Give your suggestions. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye.